Hey everyone, Wolflaw here. A little different one today as I'm trying out the game Rogue Trader. It's been one I've had my eye on for a little while now. Reviews on it seem pretty positive so I am hoping for good things. And this is a pretty story heavy game so this video will most likely be a little longer for a first impressions video than usual as I won't want to keep cutting away and jumping off in the middle of conversations. But I'm going to play it for the first hour or so of the gameplay and we'll see how it all shakes out, if I'm impressed or not, just what my first impressions are. So let's waste no time and just jump straight in. Okay, it's pretty cool. So you get to choose who you are. Or the character that you're playing. Used to be a commissar, pretty cool. Darius used to be a crime lord. Used to be an Astra Militarum commander. Okay. Oh, they've got abilities as well. Create your very own rogue trader from scratch. Appearance. I mean, let's try and change the tash to the beard. Get bald. And the beard. Yeah, that'll do. And the face. Let's make him look a little bit more grizzled. Yeah, well, I like that one. For the Fon Palancius Annals. Sword Class Frigate. The Sword Class Frigate is a classic void ship design proven in thousands of battles, combining decent firepower, high speed, and respectable survivability. Oh, you can name it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh. Hmm, what do we want to name it? Shield of Fenris. Okay. Can I name my staff? There we go. Edit name. Okay, right. So my awareness is a bit crap. This skill is affected by the perception characteristic. It encompasses the subconscious ability to react to things that the conscious mind may not perceive. Okay. Noticing traps, cleverly hidden objects, secret passage. Okay, so I'm not brilliant at noticing stuff. Got a pretty decent weapon skill. I'm a decent soldier, but uh, lacking in other areas, and I've got not too bad athletics and coercion. I'm a warrior. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. I am getting deafened by this uh, new sound a bit. I might have to turn it down. <laughs> An excellent place for contemplation. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? An impeccable manifestation of the God Emperor sublimity. Truly an awe inspiring sight. Mm. That is the purpose of all temples to the God Emperor to inspire awe and reverence. For it is the duty of his servants to persevere in their tireless service until they are presented with the chance. To give their very life for the master of humanity. 
Allow me to introduce myself. Conrad Voigtfeer, Master of Whispers, in the employ of her ladyship rogue trader Theodora von Valencius. At your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. My regards, Commissar. Finding you was a difficult task given your parents' fate and your upbringing in the Scola Progenium. Truly, our meeting is an act of providence, is it not? I will be frank with you. You may forget your past titles, no matter who gave them to you, or what their origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard this void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius, and carry the burden of an heir of this house. Henceforth, you share your dynastic name with her ladyship. Bear it with honor. Okay. You say I'm one of the rogue trader's heirs, so there is another candidate. You have a curious title, Master of Whispers. What are your responsibilities? Hmm. There's another candidate. And you will meet him soon enough. Okay. You have a curious title. Put it plainly, I am the head of the network of spies and informers who serve the interests of House von Valencius. I uncover weak links both among Lady Theodora's retinue and in the ranks of her rivals. I eliminate our vulnerabilities and exploit those of others. Such are the traditions of the Imperium. Lord Captain is the title that was established in the annals of the Lex Imperialis at the time when the first rogue traitors entered the Gold Emperor's service. And therefore, it is sacrosanct. I assume you had some goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let us address it. But of course, I have come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness, and I'm sure... Okay, let's get on with it. Captain and Master Edelthrad von Valencius are conversing on the... Let's go, go, go. Uh, click on the screen to move your character. A new challenge for me? WASD to move the camera. Oh, okay. Q and E to rotate. Let's do this. Follow my lead. Some objects in the game can be interacted with in a special way. I see you raise your head again. I'll hand you over to the tech priest for servitorization. Crew officers, crew officers. Let's talk to this person. Let's just get on with this. One of the Fon Valencia's trophy rooms. Perhaps you would like to take a look around. Nice Lehman Russ. Oh, servitors are going mad. I'm guessing we're hitting the tutorial. The servitors have gone berserk. Death will find you soon enough. Go away. Okay, you've been ambushed. The battle begins. Okay. Rose, shoot. Don't let it get close. It's not the battle. Okay, turn based. Select a cell within the highlighted area. Double click to move. Movement points determine how far a character can move on their turn. Six MP. That's all my movement. I shall not fear. I 
I'll pass. Gonna be used again this turn. Okay, well. Oh, I thought he was coming for me there. Man down, he's one hit killing everyone. Okay, what have we got here? Characters with melee weapons can make an attack of opportunity. I can do here, is there? Um, okay. Well, I might have a chainsaw or something. Don't have time for this. Maybe I should have done that before. That is simply irrational, Lady Theodora. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide. Practically an admission of... Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation. No worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do with Ion 6, Edelthrad? What is this? Is this someone from your retinue, Theodora? Do you permit your people to interrupt your... I don't wait around. ...in such a fashion? I give that permission to those with something of substance to say. Let us see if it was worth it. This is the second candidate for the title of my successor. Consider this hypothetical Passive situation. skill test. Your character's skills reflect their knowledge and capabilities. A new world on the fringes of the Coronas expanse. High hmm, seismic okay. activity. Regular magma eruptions. Metamorphic rock deposits. Prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flights of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second hmm. time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with this poisoned treasure? Hmm. Is it Xenos? Is it the Warp? I'm a former Commissar. I just keep sending in men. Evidence of heresy. Must be purged. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Sounds like chaos to me, but... Hmm. hmm. Reasonable and prudent. However, chasing up <laughs> Apart from Xenos, an untrodden planet might be teeming with myriad horrors that are far more dangerous and difficult to eradicate. I suspect that you are simply unaware mm. of their existence. Listen to me, Edelfred. You're about to get a bitch lap, mate. <laughs> I give a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, was more than you could do, Edelrad. Edelfred. I find your tone most disagreeable. You will kindly alter the manner in which you address me, or else you will live to regret the consequences. 
Shut your mouth, Edel Fred, before I decide to shut it for you. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I find your company disagreeable, and yet I'm forced to endure such. Edelthrad, I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot the time. Oh, what a suck up that guy is. So, why are you here? Was it not you who sent for me? There were questions that I wish to have answered. I do not know just yet. I hope you'll clarify that. There are questions that I wish to have answered. Correct. I approve. But you are... My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of Scarus. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity. And my rights and freedoms are vindicated by a most sacred relic. The warrant of trade kept aboard this very vessel. Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's life. Okay, very nice. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover along with all there is to find thereon. Resources, people, riches, and mysteries is mine by right. I command millions of lives. Oh, yes. You would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump, and... I Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then for... Okay. Thank you for clarifying. I have some time before the Navigator gives the signal to initiate the Void Ship's translation... An incident took place on the officer's deck. So? Perhaps the Technomaths were careless during maintenance. Or it could be the warp playing tricks on us in spite of the Gellerfield. Or perhaps there is something to all the stories about the ship being possessed. Lady Theodora, for the God Emperor's sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating idle rumors spread about by uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Idira eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. This ship is thousands of years old. It has enough hidden nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant folks speak of spectres dwelling inside the bulkheads and plotting against. Surely them. there are ways I can prove myself you a worthy heir. Yeah. Not asking questions of this sort. Right. Well, let's just get a move In on then. Case, I shall head to. Okay, there's more stuff going on. Yeah, okay, we're not messing around here. I won't heed your cries of mercy. All of you will bleed. I can handle this. I took care of this one. Follow my lead. Death to non-believers! I serve the ruinous power! Just a minor setback. Ooh. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. You've performed 500 critical hits with your party members. I've only just started playing.
There must be a few few bugs in regards to the Steam achievements, just for your awareness. I literally have just started playing. I need one of them pistols. That was an awesome effect. It took out three and one. This isn't really the best way to prove myself. I'm literally just dived behind the nearest cover. Your character has received a temporary positive effect from an ally. Such effects enhance your character's capabilities in combat in some way. To learn more about the effect you have gained, hover your cursor over the effects icon. Uh kill them. Plus 50% plus 50 ballistic skill until the end of combat. I took care of this one. Mort, take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse up survive. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, huh? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight. I'm a former commissar. I'm not going to panic at the sight of a few cultists. Security offered by their position makes them that much more vulnerable to the harsh reality. What are your orders? Morton's gone on ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the arch militant requires. Okay, I will do. What way did he go? That is the question. Here he is. Providence, you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Coonrad? The moment we finish chasing the... Mort, pull yourself together. What, did the Lord Captain send you to chivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Master of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Vox net is silent. The Vox Master is not responding. Armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my arch militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warped madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds? I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Geller Field failures, but communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only Vox casts from the lower bays are one-way mm. heretical. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. The madmen have already reached the officer's deck. Suggests that this outrage... Mutiny against the Emperor's the anointed. First, we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. And I have the means to do both things at once. Edelthrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than a whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements is that he arrived on transitional deck 18. Wow, well, let's go. Blast it! Master of Whispers, find Edelthrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arch Militant, with me. I must go to my study. And it appears we might encounter heretics along the way. If I may, Lord Captain. Transitional Deck 18 is at the... Okay, we're off to Transitional Deck 18. Let's get a move on, mate. Then it's settled. Find Edelthrad and bring him here. In whatever state you find him. This elevator leads to restricted compartments such as my personal chamber. Then move out! Mort! Whatever state. 
As far as I'm concerned, that means just as good dead as alive. Let's go, go, go. Are you ready to head to Yes, I am ready. It is a long walk, and you do not even have proper gear. Don't need it. I shall make do, lead the way. Of course you will. Lady Theodora would never have someone she could. Oh, he's betrayed me. I've been betrayed. Oh, what a creep. Well, I wasn't expecting that. That's a good twist early on. Oh, he laid a kick in. I'm sure this will be the way that careful, I prove myself uh, worthy of inheriting the title of a rogue guest. trader. He has an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that, I need him breathing. Oh, you are back with us, You two-faced scum, you Do are I the one behind this mayhem. How perceptive of you. I'll help you with the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily, or I will squeak. We are in the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There, beyond those gates, Lies the relic that gives Taylor. Okay, so he wants to steal the warrant of trade. The sacred warrant of trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the sentinel. <laughs> okay, I have no intention of helping. I will help you as long as you spare my life. Will you let me join you? <laughs> um. What is it, inbred? Is your blood too thin for the sentinel? <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. On the contrary, the wolf's blessing has raised me too much above your kind, Fon Valencius. The sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help. After all, isn't that what family is? Coercion succeeded. Wretched. What do you know about wretchedness? Theodora's cur. Are you hoping to buy a grain of her indulgence with your blind loyalty? Oh, I know this delusion. But thank the gods it no longer has power over me. He is well and truly fallen. Once my work is done, I'll make that pompous wrench. Von Valencius watch as I sacrifice her entire dynasty and commit their fate to the gods. And you will be the instrument by which I will accomplish. I don't think so, mate. Okay, more and more sourceless voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with a singular urge. Go to the gate, go to the gate, go to the gate. Fight the voice in your head. Get out, I am not your puppet. You're wounded by the corrupted weapon. Ah, oh, I'm going to have to do it anyway. Come on. Okay, you've got to put your hand in there no matter what. I guess maybe if you had other traits, maybe it can go differently. High levels of caustic humours. The subject is in a state of heightened stress. Oh, do yes, I do require assistance. assistance. Yes, yes I do. It would seem the entity coiled in your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. You weren't ready for that, mate. And he's still, he survived that. Okay. To the chamber. Blimey, that's a big old uh, warrant of trade. Bravely first into darkness to unite and reclaim what was lost. 
to triumph over nightmares untold, to hold boldly the remains of fate. Avalard. What? Well, whatever are you doing in the warren chamber? What is the meaning of this? He's a traitor. What? He intended to take revenge on Theodora for something, and trying to reach the warrant was somehow part of the plan. Oh, holy God, Emperor. I presume he is the one responsible for the mutiny. Bandmaster, I wish to remind you that you are to refer to the Lord Captain. <laughs> really? As this time, Theodora. mate? Why don't we leave matters of etiquette for another time? Absolutely. With the Lord Captain's permission, I shall give you an hour-long lecture on how making <laughs> use of proper addresses corresponds to showing due faith. Mm. You're in a bad way. There we go. I can treat your wounds. Got an axe. I have a Medicaid kit. And lead the way. Come on, let's get let's move on. Save the ship. I'm wasting too much time just talking here. I like the voice actress for uh, the rogue trader, Theodora. Come on, let's go. Tactical phase. Combat begins with the tactical phase, during which characters cannot attack or take other actions, but may try to take up advantageous positions. Okay. Okay, so there's nothing to hide behind. Should we just get as close as possible here? Death to non -believers. Oh, he's nicely parried. I serve the ruinous powers. Oh, he's parrying all of them. Can I do the same? No, I can't. Oh. Single attack with a quick melee weapon. Swing strike that affects two enemies in front of the attacker. Sweep. This attack inflicts bleeding on the target. Five to seven damage. Right, same. That was one hit kill anyway. Can we use this as well? No. Death to the weak. Oh, my ears are ringing. Well, that old bard's a bit of a tank. Here we go. Be careful, your companions can get hurt by your burst shots or... Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, so we're both warrior. That's fine. We can't charge because they're right in front of him. He needs two... Must be at least two free cells charged between you, so he can't do that. Talking about. I serve the ruinous power of another day. Out of my way. He just shot his mate. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. I'm down to half health. I'm going to need another one of those med packs in a minute. Okay, I'm enjoying it so far. It's, it was a little slow getting uh, into the action, but now we're here. The navigator sector is directly along the passageway. Oh, I pray to the God Emperor that we are not too late. And so, 
He will enter the halls of the blinded guide and witness the radiance of the final dawn through the cracks. Master, watch your head. Idira, would it be too much to ask that you phrase your soothsayings plainly for once? That was too... <laughs> Sorry, old man. The voices are so loud I can't even hear myself. They shriek, they sing, they... Oh, Abelard, how they sing! This is Idira Tlas, personal psyker and diviner of her ladyship Theodora von Fal... <coughs> I'm not drunk, old man. I'm suffering the effects of the warp that is seeping through these walls. I see the ship's fate. To die in the waves of the immaterium, fall under the burning rays of the final dawn. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Hmm. Okay, so the entity in my consciousness is hiding from the seeker, sta uh, seer, or psyker standing before me. <laughs> the whispers called me. The ones I could make out among all the screams and screech. What? You don't mean the engine say Prime is... Said. Without a doubt. <laughs> and the voices wail, heralding countless nightmares, cackling. That's Edelthrat. Oh, Emperor's Providence. The other air lives as well. Quickly, we must head to... Not so fast, old man. If we drown in the warp, Lady Theodora's heirs won't be any good to us. If Edelthrat's like me... Blast it. You're right. <sighs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing is well about him. <laughs> But we're not just going to stand here and take it, are we? The state of things in here suggests there's a navigator around. Maybe one who's crippled or at death's door, but still kicking. And... Idira has joined the party, which now consists of several characters. To select one character, click left mouse button on their portrait. To select multiple characters... Okay, let's just do everyone. Let's go, go, go. Is it is the... We'll go back through here. Oh, there's the navigator on the throne. Let's go, everyone. Next combat phase ready. Don't you dare to cross us. Her behind here. I don't know how tough she is just yet. Here we go. Chaos guides me. Ah! Pain and duty go hand in hand. Idira is a psyker and an operative. As an operative, she can study opponents and identify their weaknesses, and her psyker abilities allow her to deal damage to them. Analyze enemies is an operative ability which applies the exploit effect to all enemies within the okay. Idira is armed with a special staff that allows a psyker to unleash psychic powers against enemies. They're all out of range at the moment. Psychic Shriek. Let's do this. Go away. When it killed. Nice. Good job.
Let's go, go, go. Oh, he missed from there. Go to line of sight, can't use the charge. Victory is imminent. Oh, wrong one. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to de-equip that. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. I will do my duty. I took care of this one. Creature in the chair appears as if it has become one with its throne. You see pink parchment-like skin stretched between the seat and the limbs that have too many joints for a normal human being. The navigator is breathing heavily, the air whistling as it exits through the two dark gill-like slits in its cheeks. The creature's eyes are shut, the two ordinary eyes as well as the third one that sits in the centre of its forehead. I believe most of a spider still lives. Ah. Uh, well, the servants are dead. But the chamber, thank the Emperor, is still sealed from the warp. Well, we have a chance of leaving this place alive. <sighs> Wounded. Exhausted. Fighting back the endless horrors of the warp that are... Your time is short. Are you all right? Doesn't sound like he's all right to me. Ah! It came from beyond. His body is not his. I think we can tell that by the description. Can't be done without the Master Helmsman's help. Well, then we need to go get the Master Helmsman. Uh, I cannot bear seeing it. I would rather put an end to it. I want to help you. Tell me how. Run. The sanctum will be sealed. I will hold it off. Hold on. Okay, well, let's run. Wait for the signal from the. The ship can only begin the translation with the assistance of the Master Helmsman. If he is still alive, it is worth a try. We must get to the bridge. But we will need support. Our only option is to fight our way to the officer's deck and join forces with Edelthrad and his... <sighs> Navigator's giving his all so we can survive. I would generally probably skip some of the talking moments a bit quicker because I read the text, but... Because obviously I'm trying to give you guys a, a view of it. I'm not doing that. Your ship's as good as ours. It's all over for you. I shall pity not your enemies. Sister Rabato. Heed not their pleas. Somebody shoot this <laughs> Okay, next recruit. Sister Argenta. Sister Argenta, it is a relief to see you. Just join us. Your face, it is unfamiliar. Who are you? 
I am Ro von Valencius, the Lord Captain's heir. The hour is dark and daunting. The ship abounds with corruption. The faces of friends are twisted by sneers of... Sister, I beg of you. Now is not the time for interrogations. The ship is under attack by heretics. We've been betrayed by our esteemed master of whispers. Edelthrad the heir is waiting for our aid. Seneshaw is right. There is no time for talk. Very well. We may leave it at that. For now. I cannot wait to rain righteous fire down upon each and every heretic. What is a warrior of the Adeptus Sororitas doing aboard a rogue trader's ship? I just said there's no time to talk. <laughs> And that story deserves its own time and conversation. Yeah. Um, Good answer. Enough idle chatter. I am where I must be, and that through this door. I shall join you. As I expected. We follow. For now we will hold up Let's go, 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 go. Ready. Right, we're about to kick off. Okay, right. Come to chaos. Bro, you go there. Adelbard, you go there. Psyker, let's keep you. Oh, I could sweep, sneak around the sides here. I'll keep you there. Argenta. Hmm. It's only half armor, so we'll put you there. Let's do this. Cultist by the looks of things. Anything else? Be gone. No, that's it for you. I serve the ruinous powers. Ah! You miscreant. Crush the feeble. Well, Ro can take that guy out, surely, next turn. I'll do it. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Ooh, we're not going down in one hit anymore. At your beck and call. I'd rather not. It's nothing. Not a problem for me. This guy's tough. Well, Rose just weak at this point, I guess. We'll do. Some of that. This is probably the best one so far, Adira. Okay, I'm liking this. It's very similar to Chaos Gate and the like, which you may or may not know. I absolutely love the original, and I enjoyed the sequel as well. So. This is definitely kind of my my style that I like in a strategy game. Out of my way. I bring ruin. Chaos guides me. I'm not injured. I'm enraged. Done. Keeps telling me how you perform 500 critical hits. Same achievements come up. Well, you stay there, row behind the cover. I need to get Adelbard out of the uh, open. I serve the ruinous powers. 
Was... Was that you? Bang, bang. Ah, oh, Ro, come on. <sighs> I can't tell how many shots I've got left. Not a problem for me. There we go. Psychic Shriek is just awesome. Like one, it kills all of them. As the Emperor commands, I act. Have some of that. That's all of them. Oh, the bridge is going to fall. Theodora von Valencius. Oh dear, she's gone. She's gone. An apparition, a sorceress, apparition, trickery of the warp. Sister, you will lower your weapon. Threatening the Lord Captain is outrageous. This is impossible. I doubt you are aware of the limits of what is possible. For your worldview is but an iota of what a rogue trader knows and sees. But I can tell that you would like me to share that knowledge with you. That power over reality. I can lead you out of these flames. Show you a path. Rid you of pain. And give you a weapon so that you may defeat your enemies. The voice acting Decide. is really good in this, and I really like the fact that it is pretty much all voice acted as well. Your mouth begins to salivate. Each word Theodora speaks is like music to your ears. The entity that now dwells in the deepest recesses of your mind is pleading, begging, demanding that you give her an immediate answer. Do not listen to this. Abomination! If you... If there is naught but his light in your heart, if you are resolute in your faith, then step into the flames. The Emperor protects. Oh, yes. His faithful will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises. Nor will the fire burn those who carry the torch of faith in their soul. To the void with you. We need to follow Lady Theodora. Before we suffocate in this furnace. No. The people. The survivors from the middle decks. We must help the crew. Lead them out. Find a way Ooh, around. We're going to have to choose here what, what, what we do in the future. Our next path is. Bro, what are you waiting for? Sometimes your character will have to make tough decisions based on their values, interests and goals. Such, such decisions affect their convictions. This can develop in three directions, dogmatic, iconoclast, heretical, <laughs> heretical. Each includes five ranks. The higher the rank, the more zealously the character follows their convictions. Oh, zealously, sorry. And the more noticeably the world around them reacts to their actions and decisions. Hmm, okay. Dogmatic, walk through the fire. The Emperor will guide the righteous on their path. <laughs> Heretical, accept the offer of help. Take my pain away. Why is this loyal psyker telling me to accept the offer of help? Get the people off the bridge. Oh, I will not leave my people in harm's way. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. I'm really, obviously not two here, but I'm really torn between... The Emperor will guide the righteous on their path and I will not leave my people in harm's way. Oh man, this is tough. See, the Commissar in me is a... You know, the Emperor will guide the righteous, but he wouldn't leave the people in harm's way. Mm. No, I'm going to be a... I'm going to be zealous in my uh, faith in the Emperor. The Emperor will guide the righteous. 
You take a step forward and the illusion breaks. A wave of excruciating pain crashes over you and Theodora's voice fades into the firestorm. Yep, we're just... <laughs> oh dear! All the guys, they just... Um, burnt to death. The blood is pouring in your ears, drowning out the world around you. Your eyes caked in soot and burnt eyelashes refuse to open. Free from the flames, you take two more steps before collapsing to your knees. The rush of blood in your temples and the horrible pain all over your scorched body cloud your mind, before suddenly retreating, as if driven away by some mighty will. A new strength spreads throughout your veins, and despite the wounds, your body is once more ready for trials and struggle. You open your eyes and see, aglow with warm light before you, the Aquila, sacred symbol of the Imperium. The Emperor protects, my friends, the Emperor protects. Let's do this. Master, can you hear me? Oh, you're alive. Which is more than I was expecting after what you just did. You just ran through the fire with me. Praise the Emperor. We passed through the flames. Oh, how can this be anything but a portent? For so it is said that the Emperor will bless the worthiest and most steadfast in their faith. Amen, sister. Amen. The Emperor protects Seneschal. Did you see that, the Aquila? It was glowing. We're still alive. Fancy that. The Emperor protects. Indeed he does. Oh, if I hadn't seen it myself, I never would have believed. Seems like the Psyker is going to be a bit of a problem in the future. What happened to Lady Theodora? Did she follow us? There was no Theodora, witch. Yeah, that's right, sister. It was an illusion. Temptation, a foul Tate that tried to lead us astray. But he perceived its true nature. Is that right, Adepta Sanctimonious? <laughs> what? We'll just pretend like we didn't see the Lord Captain standing there. Oh, the you you should know better than that, Psyka. You tell her. Whatever it was, it matters no longer. Ugh, your conduct is bordering on madness or holiness. A path opened behind you, where one moment there was fire... Oh, okay, so they didn't run through the fire, it was just me. But what am I saying? My eyes must have deceived me. Too much smoke for my lungs. The Emperor is with us, my friend. The Emperor is with us. The wounds are merely a sign of a trial laudably past. It is something to be proud of, the same as decorations or badges of honour. Rise and stand tall. No element holds power over the righteousness. Dismiss the help and stand up on your own. I feel fine. Allow Adelbar to help you up. Admittedly, I've been bad. Now, oh, come on. Rise and stand tall. No element holds power over the righteous. I'm really enjoying this. The choice that having the choice of what to do. Yeah, I just did, mate. Following in your wake. Anyway, as I was saying, having the choice there on what to do for the story, I don't know if it does play out differently if you do those things or it just ends up forcing you through the fire, but I really like that option. It really makes the game feel alive. A bit like Mass Effect, you know, how you used to feel your choices mattered. I hurried here to join forces with you and the others. It's time to push the heretics back. Indeed it is. Your wounds. Okay, Edelfrad, you uh, didn't give me the best impression earlier, but I'm going to look at uh, look at you in a new light now. My faith will keep me upright with a weapon in my hand. That is all that matters. Pray, forgive my insistence. I shall not be the one to doubt the faith of he who has passed the trial by fire. I have gathered everyone who answered the Vox call and was able to hold a weapon. Yet I do not see the Lord Captain or her arch militant in our midst. It was at this very elevator, Master Edelthrad. The Lord Captain, accompanied by the arch militant, headed to her chambers to retrieve an item of particular import. Ah, uh, this is troubling, and the timing is inopportune. I am still receiving fragmentary reports from the breach. Kunrad Voigtvier was spotted there, 
and even what scant intelligence on his activities I have reminds me of descriptions of sorcerous rituals. If that traitor has we go to the bridge or do we go to find Theodora? Hmm. I think we need to go for the assault on the bridge. No, you most certainly are not. You can barely stand upright after what happened. It is best that we go to retrieve Lady Theodora and let a reasonable approach. Take your oh, come on. Next we meet. Give me the choice and you don't let me fulfill it. Boss fight incoming. Murder scene. Theodora von Valencia's body is sprawled on the large blood-drenched desk. The arch militant's corpse still clutching a weapon is slumped against one of the bulkheads. Emperor. She's been murdered. Hi, Lord Captain. I didn't hear, didn't hear a thing. Not a whisper, not a breath. It was, it was so loud. Why didn't I foresee this? No, I'm still, I'm still doubting you, Adira. No, Lord Captain. Who would even dare? Mm. Unless that rat void fear. Quite possibly, but I'm not so sure at this point. Um Edelfred is still um a bit suspect for me, so I'm gonna say nothing for now. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Arch Militant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> Examine Theodora's body. You lean closer, the cause of death is apparent. What ended the rogue trader's life was an auto pistol shot, an extraordinarily accurate one at that. Theodora's face bears an expression of surprise. Hmm, yeah, you see? It wasn't it wasn't who we think it was. Something on the floor catches you, a heap of blood splattered parchments and scrolls that must have fallen off the desk. Small shards of glass scattered on the floor. Hmm. Let's examine the other guy first and we'll come back. Auto pistol shot went to the same person killed him. Safety on the arch militant's weapon is off. The killer must have been a split second quicker than he. Difficult to say what exactly was broken, the object fell on the floor, and that is as much as you can ascertain. Upon closer examination, the shards appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they had been submerged in Prometheum. Hmm. It doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of objects, but dead bodies are different. I'm going to look in the wall. Shards. Streaks of color, luminescence, blue lights, faces drawing closer. Lady Theodora and Conrad. And what is that? Ah! Something dark, enormous. Oh, this glass thing was something foul. That's Tainted witchcraft. Handwritten letter with a seal. The author of this letter addressed to Theodora von Valencia signed it with a seal of one of the Holy Ordos of the Emperor's Inquisition. Mm. Yes, the cruis. No, wait! We must see if we can find anything. Idira, you can't bring her back. 
Let her go. You'd give up so easily, old man? I expected as much from the sister. It's not like she has a heart. But you? Oh, no. I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murder. Okay, so... And really I'm good story. It's really unraveling quite that well. Again, that at the start, it was a little bit slow. It felt obviously like the tutorial and the setup, but... The second this heretic ambush unravels upon the ship, it just really reached up to a whole new level straight away. The way it's unraveling now, you know, we've got to find out who the, the revelation of the true threat is. It was there a betrayal within the crew, assembling my new team, as obviously I'm going to take the mantle of the rogue trader. It's uh, really unraveling really well. Combat's quite natural. Finding the loot and all the things that are around the scene isn't as instinctive and easy as you might expect like the goods here i get it you got to walk around but it's not like you're running around as the character it's very much point and click and it's been a lot be honest it's been many years since i played a game like this so maybe i just need to get back into the habit a little bit but that could use some refining i think maybe but again all in all i'm really impressed thus far it's definitely showing signs of being a really good strong game moving forward um Obviously, it depends how the story is going to unravel. Do all the choices lead to different paths? Or is it a bit like, as we saw before, you choose the wrong option, they say no. And then you get to go the other way anyway. So I have to wait and see. There's no real way of knowing that off the top of my head. But really good. I don't know if any of you have tried out Rogue Trader so far. Drop your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't, are you going to be interested in giving it a go? I'm definitely going to play more of this and see how it unravels because... So far, so good. Definite signs of being a really, really I good game, to be honest. Weakness. But that's it for today, everyone. Huge thank you to all my subscribers, as usual. And with that said, I am off, and I'll see you all again real soon.